Hey, welcome back to Styrene Relics. Uh, I've got a couple of customs I want to show you that I've restored. These are not builds that I've done, but some that I've cleaned up and tried to keep preserved. Uh, again, that's kind of what I want to do on this channel, is, is always try to look for older builds and save them. And uh, i got a couple more I want to show you guys. Plus, I've got a little magazine, uh, Robin from Papa Rob. <laughs> over at my, uh, Rob, Papa Rob's model car room. Uh, the reason why is because there's an article in there that's going to help out with anybody that has any questions to the build that I've got going on, uh, Scale Builds of Gentlemen. And uh, if you guys are interested in that, uh, take a look at my my uh, my video I've got on that. It's a couple of days old, but uh, it gives you all the rules that you need to do for that build, that group build. It's going to be kind of fun. So let's get started on these little guys. Um, we've got a 1960 Ford convertible uh, that's a mild custom. It's been lowered down. Nice bubble skirts on it. Side pipes, tonneau cover. Uh, very, very neat. Uh, it's got looks like it's got 59 Cadillac taillights in the back. So uh, very clean for when it was built. This is a brush painted model. Uh, there are brush strokes in it, and very heavily, very heavily glued in, so to the point where you can see where the glue has shrunk the, the plastic in. But that's all right in my book, uh, because this is the way it was done back then. Guys just didn't know what would happen, you know. I mean, it's happened to me. Uh, when I first started building too, so I don't know if this paint was uh, Mixed up or if he just had a lot of the blue But it turned out pretty sweet. There were a few things that I did to it um, I believe one of them was uh, It needed a side pipe and I had one that matched So I went ahead and replaced it and I think if I remember right it was one of the uh, the spotlights was missing and I had plenty of spotlights so I went ahead and did that replaced it um, let's see I think that's all I did and then just pretty much clean up because it was just dirty uh, from setting oh no no I take that back these spears I've added the spears because I just thought it needed a little just a little something because it was so blue it just needed a little bit of a breakup, and I didn't want to take away from what the guy was doing. So I just added a small spear in, into each side. That's That would be the only thing. Uh, another thing that I want to point out, a couple of things actually, but the one thing that really is does stand out are these tips. If you look, those are uh, ink pen tips. I'm, I'm almost certain that's what those are. Uh, they're not very long, so I'm. I remember seeing ink pens with those, with those type of tips on them. So I, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. But this is a uh, curbside kit, no engine. The hood doesn't open, uh, but it, it's pretty clean. And he didn't do any extra painting underneath, so. Uh, but it, it is pretty clean. He's got that added grill work in the front. That was always an, uh, an added kit thing in the kit. So, yeah, it, it's a nice little build. One of the cool things I thought was uh, he's got a little hub cap on the steering wheel. Uh, I've seen that done even in real life. Guys will take something like that and cut the back half out of it and set it up on a steering wheel. I've seen that quite a bit. So that's kind of neat. So yeah, this is an older build. I don't know when, but it's uh, pretty cool. So hope you guys like that one. I got another one. Kind of in the same flavor. This one I had to get. It just uh, reminds me of a, a nice boat out on the water. Uh, I don't know why. It must be the fins in the front end setting up just a little bit, but this just screaming to be out on the water to me. <laughs> so I love this thing. This is really cool. 
And I don't have the hood on because I, I took it off. There we go. I took it off to take a look at the engine. But uh, this one is kind of neat because it is a... Yeah, I don't see it. This is the year uh, Thunderbird that you can't get because it's got the molded in... What is it? 60 or 61? I forget. It's the one different one from everybody else could get. So it's it's a tough one to find. So uh, that that in itself is is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I added uh, both antennas to the trunk lid because uh, <clears throat> I could see where he had had them there. And they were both missing, and uh, I did not have another uh, antenna to match this one. So it's it's broke off, but I, if you don't have it, you don't have it, you know. Uh, let's see. I think I I think I had a pair of outside mirrors for it, and that's why those are on there. I don't know if those are the ones he had, but that's the all, all I had, and I I think they they fit. Period. I think they're all right for that time frame. <clears throat> the interior is nice. He's done that in gold and blue. The convertible top's got that really cool look to it. It's got the uh, metal flake inside it like it would have in that, you know, for a plastic cover. Did a real good job there, I think. Again, this one here is brush painted as well. He's painted the white walls. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Underneath. Very nice. Did a real nice job. Let's take a look at that engine. See if I can get that out. Okay. Now, what only thing I did on the engine compartment is in front of the radiator there, the core support, it was not painted. So I mixed up some blue and... Uh, I got real close and I went ahead and painted that. Outside of that, this is exactly the way I got it. Uh, under under here, it was real nice and clean. He had done a real good job. So I was real happy to get this one too. So, nice kit. Again, I wish I could remember the year. I want to say 61 on this um, because of these. I know that's a good way to stand out. Uh, I don't know my Thunderbirds, guys. I apologize. But I believe it's 61. And then a nice Continental kit. And it's got the pleats on the back. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. Now let's take a look at Because I'm really getting itching to build a custom but anyways let me get this all the way here custom rotter uh, February of 1959 so just uh, kind of wanted to do a quick run through on this this guy is showing how he's uh, sectioning a uh, an Oldsmobile and uh, love that floating front bar that is just really cool love those old ones man 1959 uh, this here's more front-end work what was in the west side west coast Old, old school stuff, man. Pretty neat. Running four headlights instead of two. Corvette grills in there. That's kind of neat. This is something else I always like. Used to round the corners off of the hoods. I do that quite a bit. I still do that. Different front end on that for sure. Just to give you guys some ideas if you decide you want to do a custom. Here's a bunch of them on the east side of the U.S. Let 
But I had to say, I, I like the ones on the west side a little better. <laughs> but that's just me. Kind of neat. Grills make it, man. My book. Looks like a 58 right there. Uh, let's see. Let's not get into all that. Let's see if I can skip through some of this. See here, he's got the cover covered up the, wind, the steering wheel there. But I think he's got that with just a cloth on that one. Basic how to's. Looks like he's chain cutting on the fenders and that. Yeah, he's he's reshaping the fender here. If you go over the tire, he's cut it back. Kind of neat. Uh, let's see, where do I want to be at? Right here, this is it. Okay, now, if you guys are thinking about jumping in on my group build, uh, it's called uh, Scale Builds of Gentlemen. Uh, I, I sure do in invite you all to, uh, to do that. It, it's going to be old, old uh, dragsters and stuff. Um, some of this stuff is a little bit newer than what I'm after. Um, if you're if you really want to know what how it works, uh, Google uh, Trog, uh, the race of gentlemen, and uh, that's that's really what we're looking for. But this right here is pretty close. So, I mean, that's that's pretty neat. The only thing is here is that's uh, you know newer engines in here, but uh, pretty neat, pretty neat stuff. Pretty cool. Guy's sitting right down in there. <laughs> That's just crazy, man. Can you imagine doing that and running 117 miles an hour? Pretty neat stuff right there. One of my favorite cars, the Aztec. Uh, that's just a sweetheart of a car. Boy, I wish these had colored pictures. I've always liked the Aztec. Just a super neat car. Uh, so, that's really about all I wanted to show you. I just wanted to give you guys an idea on, on that, uh, for that group build I got going on. And, uh. That's really about it, guys. So I'm just going to wrap this thing up. I don't want to make it too long. So if you are thinking about uh, jumping in on that build, it's it's, it's old old uh, dragsters and stuff is what I'm after. Uh, 1940, I opened it up to 1940 on the bodies. Uh, 1955 and older on the engines and drivetrain. Uh, and there's some other rulings on there. So, uh, yeah, check it out. I appreciate it, guys. If you do want to, just leave me a note in there that you're in. And I'll assign you a number. All right, guys. I'll talk at you later. Appreciate you stopping by. And we will see you next time.